We are going to get started with our top-down 2D shooter in Unity. And uh, just want to give you a little bit of orientation to this project. So um, first of all, I've already created a Unity project folder. TDS spaced out. Um, you can call your project whatever you want, but I am saving to my desktop. Um, so I have a project that exists. And, and I just want to uh, mention that the only uh, difference in this setup from previous setups is I did create a new 2D project. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through the process really quickly. I'm not going to create this project on the desktop, but I'm just going to call this um, test 2D. My location is set to my desktop, and again, if I need to retarget, I can click on the ellipsis and go to the desktop and select that folder. Um, in this case, we want to start off with a 2D project, and I'll hit create, and that'll walk us through the process. Um, it'll catch you up to where I am with already having a 2D project. Um, in addition to establishing the 2D project, I did start uh, and install Playmaker already. Um, and I imported some sprite, some sprites that I've provided to you uh, online. So just a, a, a couple of things. When we start a project in 2D, um, a couple of the defaults change. Uh, the first thing is that we're looking at um, a restricted 2D environment rather than a 3D, uh, a 3D interface. And I just want to point out that this 2D uh, button is set and we happen to be looking down the z-axis and this kind of becomes important when we start dealing with um, uh, any kind of parameters that have to do with a vector 2 or vector 3 um, so we're actually looking down the z-axis when I hit the 2d button you can see that the y is up and the x is to the right and that's uh, kind of the default format we're going to be working in this 2D environment. Um, a couple of the other uh, defaults that happen is that when we bring in a 2D graphic like a PNG, by default it shows up as a sprite or 2D and UI uh, graphic rather than uh, the default, which would be a texture that you apply to a 3D um, object. So um, just really quickly to demonstrate this point without jumping too far into the content. If I pull an asset um, out and drop it directly inside my hierarchy or inside my scene, um, you can see that we have a, a, a 2D graphic ready to go. Now, if that were a texture, um, by default, if this were a 3D project and it was set to a default, I could not drag that graphic into uh, the hierarchy or into the scene view because it needs to be attached to an object. So. Uh, by default, whenever we bring in uh, a graphic in a 2D environment, it defaults to a sprite 2D. Uh, and, and we'll talk about some of these other parameters as needed. Um, so that's just a really quick setup um, to how I have uh, this environment configured. And I do have a sprites folder. Uh, and inside the sprites folder, I have individual sprites. And then I have the same sprite sheet that... Um, uh, I provided to you. Uh, now you can use your own assets. You can you can create your own assets, um, or you can use these assets to jumpstart your project. Or if you want to temporarily kind of follow along with these assets and then swap them out, it's completely up to you. But we're going to make a very simple uh, 2D uh, top-down shooter. Um, so we'll walk through the process of of uh, setting up a controller, and we'll just jump right into the content. Um, but make sure that you get a project set up, install Playmaker, and uh, import those uh, sprites if you intend to use them. There are a lot of free assets that you can use inside the Asset Store, um, and we'll talk about some of the uh, parameters of the project uh, in, in the next presentation.